Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Monday, April 29th, 2019. And uh, you guessed it, it's uh, Motivational Mondays. So we're here to talk about motivational stuff. Today's episode, today's episode is gonna be about haters. And uh, you know, um, we all have haters. That's it, I mean, if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong simple as that you know like if uh, if you don't have any haters you're not doing it right you know that's uh, the the motto i grew up with so um i'm filming this a few days ago so you know a few days before you see this um so therefore you know i'm kind of referring to something that ha happened last week something that happened last week where I don't know if you guys were aware, you know, most of you guys that watch my videos every day or even most of you guys that are deep in my community, um, I'm sure you've seen some turmoil um, from within and all that, all that stuff. And um, again, I don't, I'm, I'm not here to call anybody out because it's not what I do. I really don't give a shit. Again, haters are haters, you know, but again i took this i take every opportunity as a as a way to learn as a way to grow for all of us you know so um that's what we're talking about haters we're talking about that situation because no matter who you are out there again if you're doing it right you got haters it's as simple as that you know i don't know what to tell you if you don't know what i mean then maybe you should just turn this off <laughs> it's not probably not for you by the way look free toilets here they give you free to all right don't don't anyways um, but see, I love how the universe a lot of times just brings, uh, you know, brings you little, um, things like that, little nuggets, you know, like the, the matrix, you know, put that toilet there, you know, for a reason. We're talking about, you know, haters. What do you put the haters? In the trash. It's also trash day. You get to see, you know, there's trash all over the place. You've probably seen it. I'm walking down the street and you see all the trash laid out. So... It's not a, it's not, it's by accident, I swear. It's not something I was uh, planning on. So, how do you deal with haters? How do you deal with haters? Well, it's, it's hard for some people. It's not for everybody. I mean, it's even hard for me sometimes. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking uh, infallible. I'm fucking human at the end of the day. And um, if you have people gang up on you, you know, like it's uh, something that's a little hard. But. You know, if if one surpasses these things, it just makes you stronger and stronger. And for me, in my in my case, for example, you know, sure, it got me upset, and I got upset, you know, with uh, certain situations. Um, but I was able to, I don't know. For me, whenever something like that happens, it just gives me more fucking energy, more fire, more everything. Like it's like I don't know. Maybe something something's off with me, but I don't think it's a bad thing. And um, the, again, look, the reason I'm making this video and again, look, first of all, I'm being vague because I don't want to, again, point anybody out. They don't even, first of all, they don't even deserve the attention. That's number one. And number two, you know, like I said, um, I, it's, this can be to anyone and no one in particular. And um, this exact situation, you know, not only has happened to me and other aspects of my life, but as it happens to all of you guys out there for most, for, for most of you guys. And uh, sometimes it, it can be like uh, something at work, you know, in a work environment. It can be in a collaborative thing, you know, like art. It can be, you know, random, you know, like just some a random act of insanity, you know, by someone on the street. It could be a million fucking things, a lot of fucking things. But again, it's a thing that we talk about over and over again. It's like it's not, you know, it's it's not about like. Um, these horrible things that happen it's more about how you deal with them and how you move forward and how they help you or don't help you or you know and shit like that again you know every 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 experience should be a learning opportunity no matter what and um this one definitely was a learning experience for me because um you know i'm very tight with a lot of you guys in the community you know and sometimes uh you know what happens is that you know the lines uh, the lines get blurred and the thing is uh, you know I wanna I wanna yeah, truck I, 
uh, I want to continue having a very open relationship with all of you guys out there. And um, some of you guys, you know, um, I consider friends. And I want to continue that. And uh, at the end, you know, at the end of the whole day, you know, um, what simply happened was just, uh, you know, a fight. A fight, you know, that would happen. And, uh, it wasn't a fight. I don't like, I don't even want to use that word. But more like a disagreement that would happen with any other friend or any other family member type of thing sometimes it's resolvable sometimes it's not both parties have to be wanting to to do something about it you know what i mean and it can't just be one-sided but again you know that's why you know um but again you know like despite that you know what happens is is that you know it always ends up being like uh a, a hater situation let's talk about let's just talk about the hater situation right let's just discuss that and uh, not focus on why I'm discussing that okay how's that all right hold on all right sorry just trying to focus on you know uh, walking and not tripping so yeah, the whole thing with the, the haters and that whole thing, it's 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 all about like um, you know just being able to rise above it, surpass it, not have it, you know, interrupt you at all. You know what I mean? But on the contrary, do the complete opposite. And uh, a lot of times it's not easy, man. You know, a lot of times it's really not easy to. To be able to do something like that. All right, hold on a second. Let me just get through here. <laughs> it's like this. Let me let me put it to you like this, guys. Haters are always going to be there. What I mean by haters, it could be anything. Like I said, you know, it's just I was just thinking a lot because I was just trying to trying to formulate my thoughts you know at the same time trying to walk <laughs> trying to do a triple duty there but you know the reality is is that there's always going to be disagreements in life and uh you we all hope that when we have disagreements with people that we can all grow together through the disagreement you know no matter despite the disagreement we can you know we can amic 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 oh it's a word amicably Agree to disagree. All right, look at this. Look how tight. Look how tight. I'm going to wait, all right? I'm going to wait a minute. But anyways. To amicably... All right, here we go. To amicably agree to disagree. And, uh, but the reality is, is that like a lot of times that's not really what happens you know like um, you know sometimes one party you know uh, ends up getting really upset and then that causes animosity it causes jealousy it causes a million emotions just emotions right and these emotions can take shape in many forms and um, there's nothing one can do about it because the only thing that one can do about it really in order to fix this problem would be to change one's ways change one's convictions change who one is in order to satisfy the needs of somebody else and then when you do that you're not you stop becoming yourself you know what i mean it's like you're not yourself anymore and so that's why a lot of people choose not to do that and they choose to remain true to their beliefs despite despite the consequences and um and that's why a lot of these things happen and then and then um you know you have somebody that all of a sudden doesn't like you and that's like the whole hater thing because again hater could be anything you know some people say enemy some people say a troll some people say um you know there's like a million fucking things you know what i mean like for reals you know like uh you know i hate that person uh whatever you know what i mean there's like a million ways to describe this shit but you know um i just say hater because that's what i grew up with you know what i mean you know you're always gonna have a hater you know and uh, it's just the way it is. I mean, seriously. And uh, in order for one, you know, for example, 
you know, I, um, I, I've, I've received mild doses of, uh, of hate, you know, on the, on the internet um, several times, you know, but it's, it's kind of easy when it's just some random, you know, some random uh, person. But when all of a sudden it's someone that is, is, you know, is within your community that disagrees with you, or disagrees, you know what I mean, with what you have to say or what you're doing or whatever, then all of a sudden it can turn into something very ugly. And, um, you know, that's one thing that I'm trying to learn. Let me see if I can cross this shit. That's just one thing I'm trying to fucking learn. Because, you know, this is a different world out here in the, in the internet world or what have you. And, um, I know that my opinions aren't necessarily one that everyone agrees with and I'm not here to change my mind on anything you know period in the story I'm just here to you know continue being myself no matter what under every in any circumstance and uh, if it causes friction if it causes hate you know um, amongst people that don't want to understand me and are, or just don't want to move on well then so be it you know I mean that those are part of the the, what is it like um collateral damage or what have you and like I said I've already experienced this in uh, in minor capacities but now you know what I mean as the channel grows and as uh, this whole thing grows so does the hate you know or so does the disagreements I guess or so does the whatever you want to call it and um, look I'm gonna be honest with you guys I I'm gonna call it out to tell you who guy who it is right you know it is all it's all about the windsock okay it's really all about the windsock and uh it just got out of hand <laughs> it wasn't about the windsock all right it was about the cussing actually it was about the fucking bad fucking words because i'm a bad fucking boy fuck fuck crap crap pp pee -pee. poop <laughs> so <laughs> But anyways, like I said, it can take many shapes, many forms, and we've all experienced this. And, um, you know, some of us choose to not engage, like what I'm choosing to do. And uh, I'm just choosing to use this as a learning experience for all of us. And others, you know, they, they suffer. They suffer with, uh, they suffer with this whole... Um, you know, uh, aspect of trolling or aspect of haters or aspect of other individuals out there with a completely different opinion that will not take no for an answer, you know, that type of stuff. And meaning that if you don't agree with them, if you're not doing what they say or want, you know, want you to do, if you're not behaving in their, you know, particular way, then all of a sudden you do, you, you know, you become public enemy number one instead of, instead of the, the person that they loved for so long, you know, and, um, you know, it's all about the psychology stuff. You know, I've seen this happen. We've seen this happen and we've talked about many times, you know, when it comes to like celebrities and other individuals like that, where, you know, you, people have like a vision of who they want. And again, this doesn't fuck the celebrity thing. Again, this happens to you guys, happens to all of us in regular fucking life. You know, it could be anybody. And um, where we have a vision of an individual a vision of somebody in the sense of uh, we want them to be a certain way you know we envision them in a certain way we think of them in a certain way we look at them in a certain way this whole thing and uh, and um, and then all of a sudden um, when that, that person doesn't meet those expectations that person is not who they seem they are in your eyes or they're not who they are you know because of you know again you thought thought of them like this then you see, I don't know, something else and you just for whatever reason flip the script. So a lot of people just, they fucking lose it. You know, again, the thing with me is that, you know, I'm honest. I'm as honest as humanly possible. I share with you guys as much as I can fucking share with you guys here, you know, literally. And um, I'm literally walking the streets, you know, sharing my open fucking thoughts and most people keep in their head. So how about those apples, right? So... You know, at, at the end of the day, we just got to, you know, make sure we know who we are. Make sure we never fucking change who we are. Don't fucking uh, 
you know, change for nobody or, or anything like that. And again, you know, this is why these situations, you know, give me more uh, power and energy and shit like that in the sense of like, I have to continue. I can't allow, oh, I can't allow, you know, just a certain group of certain individuals to dictate my behavior. No way at all. No, 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 no. If they're going to dictate my behavior, it's going to be to the benefit of not just myself, but everybody else. And that's, uh, that's simply it. So, um, and that's it. You know, again, we use this to our benefit. Look, um, that video um, that I made, they got all the thumbs down. You know, the one that I was talking about toxic people. Look how funny it is. I make a video about toxic people, and that video gets all this hate, right? And yet... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. And counterintuitively, when uh, when they did that, you know, when they were, you know, bringing all that, you know, hate. And it was, again, just one or two people with several accounts. You already know how these things are. You know how people are. They actually helped the algorithm. They helped my YouTube page. And um, it was awesome. It was hilarious. It was great. It was, it was awesome. It was actually very helpful to me and my channel so thank you shout out to you to that so again if, if you know how to handle um exits correctly if you know how to handle breakups correctly and all that stuff which happened their life then you can use them to your benefit you can definitely use them to your benefit and uh that's it i mean you know it's all about balls man you know like i don't want to fucking be you know, kind of saying it, but it really is all about balls. You know, just like Tony Montana said, man. Just like Tony Montana said, okay? The only thing in this, or in this world that gives orders is balls, chico, okay? Balls. And that's it. And this is a metaphor for life. You know what I mean? Meaning that the only, the only thing that's really gonna fucking dictate what's gonna happen is the strongest individual. And you can measure that however the fuck you wanna measure it, okay? And that's it. And, um, you know, in this case, maybe mental. You know, the strongest mental individual here. You know, and that's it. That's just gonna surpass this shit. And and not just this, but anything, anything. You know, I like. Um, I know I keep spinning it about me, but I always want to keep reminding. You know, the fact that you know, there's a video for for everybody, for all of us. You know, we've experienced this many times before. This ain't new. And especially if you're out there hustling, knocking it out. You know, knocking it out of the fucking park and doing some fucking awesome shit. You're definitely fucking uh, feeling a lot of this stuff. It's as simple as that, man. You know, sometimes some of this stuff is unwarranted and is, you know, kind of like isolated. You know, shit happens, you know? Everybody gets a one-star Yelp review, you know? But for the most part, you know, some of this stuff, um, when it happens, you know, on a massive scale, you know, and, uh, you, you know, you and your community really assess the situation, you know, let, let, the, let the market decide, right? Let the crowd decide. And that's it. And that's when you know if you're doing something right or wrong. So, you know, so that's it. The people, the people will tell you. That's it. It's really not that uh, not rocket science. And um, that's it. And uh, you know, so far, you know, you guys have been fucking awesome. You guys have been amazing. You know, you guys have shown me so much love, so much everything, and. Uh, you know, again, that's why, you know, no matter who the hater is out there and who's whoever's life, if you're on the right path and doing the right thing, they usually just bounce right off. That's it. And uh, you live and you learn. We all got moments. We all got our moments and then which uh, these things happen, whether it's because of ideology, because it, whether it's... Uh, you know, you know, you're you you going against the grain because you know there's a million ways, you know, a million ways in which these things take place. Um, the thing is, it's like, um, do you have enough strong of a conviction to keep going on and not allow anything to get in your way? You know, are you that strong? Are you that um, that kind of an individual or not? And um, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Ah, you know, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're back. Sorry about that. Actually, the camera got too hot. I don't know if it was because of the weather or because of the, the conversation we were having. But anyways, we're back. And let's see how much longer we can go with this, alright? But, 
you know, just to bring this whole conversation full circle. Oh, just doing a little, a little balancing act there. Just to bring this back full circle, you know. Let the haters hate, man. You gotta let the fucking haters hate. All right, hold on, we gotta do this. So, you know, now what we're gonna do, this is part two. In part two, we're gonna we're gonna DJ Cali up this shit, okay? So we gotta let the haters hate. Major key alert. Major key alert, okay? Major key alert. We have to let the haters hate. And um, because again, if you don't have haters, you ain't doing jack shit with your fucking life, man. It's as simple as that. We're gonna fucking twist this shit around now. And um, for reals, man, you know, this is all to, to all the motherfuckers out there doing their shit. And it's as simple as that, man, you know? Um, you gotta keep focused. You gotta stay focused no matter what. You gotta fucking know where you're going. You cannot let anything phase you. When you see a hurdle, you jump it. If that fucking hurdle knocks you down, you get back the fuck up and you keep doing it over and over again, all right? And that's it. And when you're looking around, you're not competing with nobody. You're competing with yourself. And that's it. It's a simple, it's very simple, man. This ain't, you know, a lot of this stuff, again, I ain't no rocket scientist. All right, I didn't get my degree in fucking Arby's U. All right, or anything like that. All right, I didn't come from fucking Burger King U or whatever it is. Anyways, BKU, right? I went to BKU. Anyways, whatever. All right, all right. My joker, my joker writing skills are so good sometimes, you know. So, um, again, you know, like, you know, let's bring this now like full circle, you know, like in the sense of. Uh, Whenever I see any kind of hate, you know, in any kind of way. So, for example, someone leaving a lot of thumbs down or comment or shitty comments or any kind of comments, you know, whether it's talking about the wind sock. I don't mean to be picking on you out there, bro. Just just busting some balls. But <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter who it is. All right. Whether it's that or anyone out there, you know, it, it's, it's like I feel sad and I feel bad, you know, a lot of the times for individuals out there. That, that's all they focus on, you know what I mean? All, all, you know, like their most productive part of the day is laying some fucking hate on some random dude on the fucking internet. Like really, bro, you got absolutely nothing fucking better to do than to leave like some sort of negativity on an Instagram post or on a YouTube page or, or on fucking anything. I mean, I've never, I don't, I mean, I've left a few thumbs downs here or there, but it has to be like something so fucking egregious, so egregious, you know what I mean? Where it's like, I had no other, you know, no the choice. It's probably like and kind of on one hand. I, and there's people out there that all they do is thumbs down. You know, like they're fucking Caesar at Reno. Arr, thumbs down. It's like, bro, you fucking kidding me with this shit? And um, to me, it's like it's it's a sad life. You know, it's like, bro, these 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 poor individuals. How sad are they? How sad could they possibly be? That you know, that's that's their their fucking highlight of the day. You know, which is you know, make trying trying to make someone's life miserable. And uh, again, in, in some cases they succeed and some they don't, you know what I mean? Like straight up, I feed off of this shit, you know? And sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, these, these, these individuals out there, they give me a little bit too much than I can eat at one time, but hey, I'm a big guy. Eventually at the end of the day, you already know what's up. And um, you know, um, it's just interesting, man. It, it really, you know, people are interesting, and uh, all we can do is learn from them. I, I love uh, humans, human psychology. I love all that kind of shit, for reals, man. And it's intriguing. What? It's in, it's intriguing to me when I see certain kinds of certain behaviors, you know. Um, and it's uh, it's I don't know, man. It's awesome, man. I don't know. I, I, it really is. Um, you gotta learn how to feed off of this shit, man. If you feed off of this shit, this is this shit's so much fuel. This shit is so much fucking awesome fuel. It's uh, it'll take you to another level. Look, this is the restaurant I'm always telling you guys about. See, look at the fucking line. Look at this shit. So now you guys can see it there. All right. Anyways, you guys see me walk through here all the time. So 
again, you know, like uh, how awesome is my fucking life, you know? And how awesome is anyone's life out there that has fucking haters? And how boring is someone's life that they don't even have any fucking haters, you know? Come on, man. And uh, it's the same thing, you know? If you got haters at work, it's because you're kicking ass. <laughs> you know, there's, no, there's nobody out there. There's not absolutely, absolutely zero people out there. I can, I can guarantee it. There's zero fucking people out there that, ha that don't, you know what I mean? That have haters and they don't do shit with their life. All right? It, I mean, it's, it's very fucking simple. You know what I mean? You, you're only going to have fucking haters if you're doing shit. That's it, you know? <laughs> you know? And, and again, it could go either way. You know, haters, you know, sometimes they're warranted, sometimes they're not. But again, that, that's, that's when you fucking know. You know, that's when you know. Um... That's, a, that's an indicator of whether you're fucking doing shit with your life or not, you know? Um, whether you got haters or not. And again, it's all about navigating these waters. I know I keep repeating myself, but it really is. It's, it's uh, If you know how to use this shit for fuel, man, uh, you know, it's like bring it on. You know what I mean? Like for reals, you know? And it's uh, it's fun. It really is. It's, uh, it's, it's an interesting thing. And um, again, I'm not out there egging anybody on because... You know, there's a few thumbs downs that are warranted. I get it. You know, there's a, like, and again, we all get thumbs downs in life, all right? All the time. But again, like some of those are warranted. Some of those are warranted, you know? And uh, depends on how big of a person you are, whether you're like, yeah, you're right. You know, I, I deserve a thumbs down or what have you. But, um, you know, sometimes these things aren't warranted. You know what I mean? And um, I just, again, I feel really bad and sorry for those individuals out there that, that spread the hate and um and i look at it a completely different way i don't i don't get upset at having people be upset at me um i i, I just get like sad you know i get i get um sad for them you know sad for those individuals that are are um you know have those sad lives you know i mean i don't even know what else to say and um this is why a lot of times i make a lot of these videos man because it's like i'm trying to I, i'm i'm trying to do really you know what is it i'm trying to save you i'm not trying to save anybody you only, only you can save yourself only you can fucking do the work only you can stop forest fires but look the point is that we are the ones that have the power but again you know what this what i when i make these videos it's just like um any for it's like for example in order for you to have the tool or i mean not the tool but for example you have the desire to change you have a desire to change yourself. You have a desire to become better. You have a desire to, to advance in life. You have a all these uh, desires to improve. But if you don't have the tools, if you don't have um, the proper, you know, um, guidance out there or whatever, you know, um, you're not going to be able to know how to do it. So a lot of times that's why I make a lot of these videos, you know, it's uh, for people. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, motivational videos are more like they're mostly self-reflection in order for anyone to grow. You're going to have a lot of self-reflection. And, um, you know, not everybody wants to do that work, you know, that they just don't, they just don't because they're scared. They're, they don't, they just, um, they get, all right, hold on. Uh, they get scared. They get fucking scared. Yeah, so these guys are working. I don't want to get in their way and shit. So I'm walking in the street. Dangerous. I'm dangerous. But yeah, man, most people are just scared to do that fucking work. And um, and that's it. You know, I think I'm going to end up cutting it here. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up cutting it here because uh, I'm fucking running out of battery anyway. Fucking film for a minute. The hostel. <laughs> and again, man, if you're living your best life and you're fucking doing it right, you know, these hater situations, you know, they just come and go. And while they remain there forever <laughs> you know in their fucking misery and they never grow and they continue being miserable for the rest of their lives and maybe that's why they call them trolls and that's why they call them trolls i guess huh because they're just uh people that live under bridges and uh you know the only thing that they gain any any happiness from if you even want to call it that is misery of others because they're so miserable and hurt themselves that that's what they do and again you know, trolls is the the modern version, you know? In my age, we call them haters. And everybody, look at all these buses, look at that. Look at that.
So yeah, you can tell it's about to be rush hour. So, yeah man, like I said, like I've said a million times before, you can't control the actions of others or the actions of the outside world. You can only control the actions of yourself and that's it. And um, for me, this all this, all this has happened, made me a way better person. Made uh, This experience has taught me a lot. Um, I've, uh, I mean, for me, it's all been benefits, sure. You know, it's just like anything else. Um, it hurts. Some of it hurt. You know, just like when you're working out. Just like when you're doing anything else. That kind of stuff. But... Um, you know, at the end of the day, the results speak for themselves. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, the mental workout. The mental workout that um, I went through last week has been fucking... You know, this week, whatever, has been fucking incredible. And... Um, it really has been, but it, but it's been awesome, man. You know, it's been awesome. These are the things that I will never change for anything in the world. Oh look, free mangoes. <laughs> so look, look at that. See, life life keeps on giving, man. No matter what. So look, we're gonna get some free mangoes real quick, right? Hold on. I get some free mangoes, right? That's how we're gonna end this motherfucker today with free fucking mangoes. So look at that, see? That guy had a mango tree in his backyard, he was just giving them away, had a basket there. I got a free a couple from uh, some mangoes to share with my honey bunny this weekend. And that's it, you know? That, that that goes to show you, man, about the fucking universe, you know what I mean? Like it's it's all about um man, you know? <laughs> this shit is so fucking powerful, the whole universe thing that sometimes it's like it leaves you breathless, man. Like I swear to god. And um again, you know, the, the, you know, I, that's why I love just push and play and filming the whole thing because it's uh you know i'm trying to have you experience my life a little bit at, at a time and uh hopefully we can all enjoy ourselves in the, in the process so with that being said i'm gonna fucking end it here i fucking love you guys you know um shout out to everybody out there everybody you know all my supporters all my haters they're gonna start getting special shout outs out there oh how about this um, let's do the Spanish word of the day. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully you guys are still here. Spanish word of the day. Everybody's been giving me requests for that. So, today's Spanish word of the day is... Okay, okay. All right, the camera fucking stopped again because it was too hot. But anyways, just in time. That way it gave me a, a couple seconds to search for the... You know, to search for um, the word of the day. So, today's word of the day is hater. And how do you say that in Spanish? Well, let me get by this this person here because I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to be respectful to my elders, man. Anyways, all right, here we go. Today's word of the day is hater. How do you say hater? Odioso. Odioso. All right. And odio means hate. O-D-I-O. -O. Odio means hate. So, odioso. So, I guess a hater would be called un odioso. Someone is just fucking hating all the time. Hating, 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 You're drinking that haterade. So, so yeah. All right, that's it. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks again for watching, guys. I fucking love you guys to death. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please, please hit that thumbs up. Please, please hit that thumbs up more than ever now, right? Please hit, you know, leave some fucking comments on there. Um, let's show some solidarity there against the haters and. Uh, Let's uh, let's keep this going, man. Let's keep this going, right? We don't want uh, we don't want these these uh, motherfuckers to keep me down. But whether or not, I'm just like you know, it's fucking just trying to be funny here. You know, my comedy falls flat sometimes. You know, I think it's because of the language, uh, the barrier, the language barrier. So, um, with that being said, I fucking love you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have supported this whole situation. Love you guys even more, and. Um, Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys.
tomorrow. I hope you have a amazing Monday. I hope this shit help you this fucking week. And um, I hope um, for anyone out there that's dealing with a certain a similar situation that this helps them out because I'm telling you right now, this was very cathartic and it definitely helped me out. Um, so, as another great YouTuber out there says, it is what it is. And by the way, my condolences, all right? Have a good one. Thanks again for watching.